Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty and today is um, February 24th, 2022. And I wanted to come on and pull a card today. The energy I feel since the full moon in Leo has definitely shifted, but there is still things that we're learning, things that we are needing to work through. And I can see that based on what is happening when clients come and sit down, there's a theme. And one of the themes or the biggest theme that's coming up, and it has been coming up for a very long time, but it's just getting louder, it's getting more prominent, is that if you cannot work on what is going on inside of yourself, you certainly, you cannot be helpful to anybody else outside of yourself and if we look at the world right now and we look at whether it's something that you are experiencing personally or something that you experienced through the pandemic or now something that you are going to feel and experience through what you're seeing with this war that's coming about in all of these instances there is an idea of the fact that we are still in this huge state of duality. Now, I'm sure we were there prior to two years ago, but it wasn't in your face. And then what the experience of the pandemic created was it so loudly in our faces that we could no longer hide the fact that we are completely dualistic as a human consciousness. It seems like it's easier for everybody to blame something or someone outside of themselves than to look within, especially in a situation that has to do with your personal life, to first look within and say, okay, what is happening? Why is this happening? And what is it teaching me? It's happening for me. You know, all of these things that we're experiencing now, the small personal thing, the pandemic, the war is happening for us. It is happening for us because we are needing to be more compassionate and we're not. And so I pulled a card today and the card that is coming out is let love be your guide. And can you do that in any and all situations? So if we take what's going on today right now, where do you, maybe you're not even focusing on what's going on right now today, but if you are, where does your energy lie? Are you thinking that somebody is to blame versus somebody is to blame? And of course there is the aspect of that, but the bigger, the higher perspective is that all of this is occurring because we are not in the space of love. What does that mean being in a space of love? It means keeping your heart open. It means when something is going on outside of you that is uncomfortable, that you don't agree with, that you know you have a feeling and an opinion on, that you still keep the heart open and you're still neutral because you can't control the outcome. You can only control the way in which you react to it. And there's things like karma and there's things like, you know, your soul contract, you know, where you choose to live, what, what experiences you choose to go through in life, what lessons you choose to learn. They're all part of the puzzle of your life. So in any of the situations, can you keep your heart open? And if you can't, you have to ask yourself why? Because if there's a line of people and all of them cannot keep their heart open and they don't know why they can't keep their heart open, they're not even aware of or awake to, they're so narrow-minded narrow in this belief and feeling of blame and just sitting in that space, we're never going to get to this idea of love, letting love be the guide. We're going to continue down this rabbit hole of blame, blaming somebody else for something that's occurring to us rather than looking at the situation as something that is happening for us to learn something, to grow, to evolve. 
it's a little difficult to, to discuss this in a way where I can attribute it to all these things at the same time, rather making it so general, rather than being more specific. But what I'm going to ask of you is if you're watching this five, six minute video, because I'm going to end it in a little bit, I want you to just think about what's going on in your life right now. Are you feeling like you're stuck? Are you feeling like you're in this status quo energy? You're exactly where you're supposed to be. Are you feeling like the stuff of the pandemic is still affecting you? It's affecting a lot of people. It's been affecting a lot of people. It's still affecting a lot of people. And I'm talking about mental health more than anything else because that's not something that's being discussed. And that is something that is extremely important to discuss. When you look at the TV, if you're a TV watcher, you've narrow-minded in only believing what you hear without understanding that there's other truths going on that you're not hearing about. It's so easy to blame and criticize when you hear one side, what's the saying? There's three sides to every story in a relationship situation. Wouldn't that be the same thing when it comes to reporting from the media, from social media? Of course, there's not one side to anything. So with that being said, why are people so quick to judge, so quick to blame, so quick to shame? Why can't they easily, instead of doing those things, come back to a place of love? Why do we find that so difficult? It is time to come back to this space. We are continually being given the opportunity to do that, whether it's in your personal situations that you're dealing with, whether it's in the pandemic situation, now with the war situation. When are we going to wake up and start being compassionate to everyone around us? When? Because we need to start doing it. This is tough conversation, conversation that people don't want to have, but it needs to be had because we need to come back to this idea where we need to start having, I should say, maybe we were never here ever, but we need to start having the realization that if we don't start keeping our heart open, being more vulnerable, being more humble, being more loving, being more compassionate, we're going to continue to destroy ourselves and each other. So I'm asking you today to open your heart. Open your heart to, even if it's hard for you, go in the grocery store and smile at someone you don't know, even if they look like they are pissing you off. Can you smile at them? Can you say hi? Start small, because we need to get back to and begin continuing to open up our heart. I hope that this message helps you to begin to know it. it's safe to keep your heart open. I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.